Hi everyone, my name is Michael uh, with the OpenStreetMap Uganda and in this tutorial I'm going to be sharing with you about uh, mapping on OpenStreetMap using JOSEM or Java OpenStreetMap Editor. Uh, to start with, uh, you should come to uh, OpenStreetMap.org and then here you will click on login. If you don't have an account, you can create an account from here, but I do have, so I will log in into my existing account and click on remember me. Here I am in. So next I will open my JOSEM. Um, if you don't have an, a JOSEM um, installer on your PC, um, we have a video a tutorial on OpenStreetMap Uganda YouTube channel. You can check it out and um, have your JOSEM installed. And here I have it. So I'll click on Edit and come to Preferences. And then I'll click on OSM. Um, I'll click on uh, Server, OSM Server. And then here I'll, I'll click on Authorize. So here it will pick um, my login. Uh, credentials and my username and password so I'll log in here and link my OpenStreetMap to my JOSEM and then it, I'll, it will ask me to authorize here so I'll click authorize and there we go I'm given an OK here to show that my account has been linked to my JOSEM and the token has been created there. And then next, I'll click on uh, remote control and activate it. What the remote control does, it communicates um, uh, between your browser and Joseph. So that if you're downloading data from the task manager, you have it directly and automatically downloaded into your Joseph. Yeah. And you can check our YouTube video and see the details on how to install and configure your JOSEM in details. Next, I'll come to my to our tasking manager on tasks.podosm.org and then I'll log in with my OSM account. And then next, I will uh, click on uh, my account here and settings. And then here I can uh, come under default editor and select JOSEM as my default editor. After doing that, I'm able to have my data downloaded directly into my JOSEM once it is open. And next, I'll come to explore projects. And then under explore projects, I'll look at the available projects. Uh, that need contribution and I will look out for projects that need mapping. So this is, um, I can filter out the different projects there and I can scroll through and see um, any projects that I can contribute to. Let's load this one and see how, um, which instructions it has so that we, we can see how it can, uh, we can contribute to it. Yeah, so uh, instructions, I will uh, click contribute to this project. And then I will see with the, different, the, the instructions that have been laid out by the project manager here. And they are telling me to use the custom image provided and then the features to map um yeah yeah so I'm, I'm i'm supposed to map only building so i will zoom out and click on enter here and once you click on map selected this is what i was talking about it will download uh, your data directly to the to the tasking man to 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 josem and then here I will switch my imagery to Esri since Maxa is having issues to load. 
yeah and here we are you see that we have some data here that will need to be mapped out like we have a building here and uh, we have buildings and roads yeah so to start with i'll come and uh, preferences and under plugins i will download the list of all plugins uh, to have them uh, for me within my JOSM. And then next, I will install the building plugin. What the building plugin does, it gives you a quick uh, way of, of mapping out buildings, but you can as well uh, do some mapping of buildings uh, using the line tool, which is already, uh, which comes in JOSM by default. Yeah, so I will. Give it a moment and here they uploaded and i will tick the building plugin and say okay once i say okay they will tell me your the following plugin has been downloaded successfully which is the building tool so i'll click okay and once i say okay it will be listed at the top right here and i'll click on it and then i'll click once I click on it, or I press B, key, B on my keyboard, it will activate the building tool, and I will click on uh, the edges of uh, all the corners of that building, um, three corners, like that. And then I can press X uh, to adjust uh, my building the way I can see it suits and appears. Yeah, I can do the same here. I can uh, click on two corners and then drag to map out my uh, my building. And then here I have this. I press X to uh, to fix the of the the alignment of my building and. Uh, here I have another building, press B, and then uh, map it out. I have another building here, I press uh, B, I map it out. Uh, here I have this kind of building, press X, and then double click at a point where the, ex the extrusion starts from, and then drag to where the extrusion ends. And then here I have another building, like that and then um, i have a road uh, press a connect my road from here and then follow through the way the road goes and this one i can target by pressing alt a and then i say highway equals to unclassified or I can as well do that under presets, highways, and then streets, and then I can tag it as unclassified, as um, you've seen that. So I can connect my road, this road to this, because roads don't meet, don't cross, they meet. So I've connected that there, and I have some other buildings here, which I can map out and fix them using the, the, the extrusion tool, uh, press X, and then um, extrude the way the building goes. I can do the same here, activate the extrusion, and then here I can uh, now uh, upload my data to OpenStreetMap. Click Upload. And then they are telling me, and then the highways, I don't know their names. So I will leave them the way they are. And um, this comes up. So here I will, I will put my change set comment at the beginning of that comment and say added and um, added buildings and androids. Yeah. And upload OSM. So you can see how 
my changes are uploaded. If I don't want to do that, I can, uh, um, if, if I want, for example, I want to demonstrate how uh, circular buildings are mapped. There's a place I know that has circular buildings that we can uh, uh, test out. I will download it. And then we have um, it uh, downloaded into our Josim and do some mapping around it uh, for the circular buildings that are there. And uh, so the building tool can be used to map out rectangular or uh, square buildings. And um, I want us to see how we map out um, uh, buildings that are circular. So I have this area downloaded and I will zoom in to, to, to have a look at, we have some circular buildings here as you can see, and then we have some buildings. And there's this kind of misalignment is because the mapping here was done using uh, Maxa and I'm using Esri. So here you can see that I'm using um, I'm using Esri as my imagery, uh, and then you can see that that these are circular buildings. We have some circular buildings here, and we have some rectangular buildings. So what I will do, uh, we have multiple ways to map out circular buildings. One of them is we use the line tool and then make uh, the different, uh, make three points uh, using the line tool around the circumference of that circular building and then press shift O and then come to presets, man-made, and then we come to man-made and then building and then tag this as building. That's one way. Another way is activate the building tool by pressing B and then press uh, Alt and Z, and this will uh, give you this kind of thing where every two points, it, it makes it into a circular building, yeah? So you can do uh, the same for any, no matter how big it is, just press B to activate the building tool or you can click on it here and then activate the building tool and then press Alt and Z. Yeah, Alt and Z and then you will have uh, this kind of uh, uh, thing to, to map out uh, circular buildings. Now to take it back to our normal building tool, you press Alt R. So we have our, um, our buildings our buildings tool back to normal so we can uh, uh, here you can where the buildings are too close to each other you can press control before clicking to map them for you to have them not um, interlinked or connected uh, with each other so yeah that works perfectly well and as you may all you may be aware Mapping broads, we use the line tool, which I'm not going to, which we have a, a tutorial that demonstrates that. Yeah, and that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next one.